As soon as the Las Vegas Raiders drafted Thayer Mumford in the seventh round, I made the bold claim that he was the steal of the draft and the answer at right tackle. Well, I'm not wrong yet. Mumford returned to practice this week and he's still in the running to start at right tackle. Raider beat writer Levi Edwards said in a tweet that he's still in it. ESPN actually has him at number one on the Raiders depth chart. If you look at the depth chart on the team's website, no one's name is in the number one slot. I think the Raiders might be waiting to see if he's healthy enough to start. Many are holding the fact that he's a seventh round pick against them, wanting the Raiders to look for an outside option. But like I said, he's a first round talent. For those of you that don't know, Munford was a tackle his first three years at Ohio State. He was a top left tackle prospect after the 2020 season at that. I don't know what you think of college pro football focus grades, but when players grade well in college, they usually come up and grade well in the NFL. Rashawn Slater graded well in the Big Ten with all those edge rushers, so the Los Angeles Chargers picked on number 10 overall in 2021, and look at him now. But guess what? Mumford graded better than he did that year. As a matter of fact, his season was the fourth highest graded season of any Big Ten tackle ever. He really should have come out that year. He would have been a first round pick, but he promised his mother that he would graduate first. So he stayed at Ohio State and was pro football focused's top returning tackle prospect. But when the season started, Ohio State didn't have a left guard and he was the guy that could best play the position. So he volunteered and had a bad year. The fact that he cost himself a lot of money for his college team stayed with me. Oh, and his left tackle tape stayed with me too. That also stayed with GM Dave Ziegler and head coach Josh McDaniels. They know they got a first round talent. Munford is a 6'6", 330 pound dancing bear with 35 inch long arms. And with that, he has explosive hand punch. That's some real pass blocking talent right there. He can also run block too, especially when using those long arms to latch onto his man on outside zones. But Munford had to show he can block NFL players when he showed up to training camp and he did. He grinded his way all the way up from the bottom of the depth chart, catching the new regime's attention when he showed he was one of the few that can block edge rush from Max Crosby in one-on-one -on -one drills. He didn't stop there either. After giving up a sack darn near as soon as he got in the Hall of Fame game, Mumford settled in, looked good, and eventually took over as a starter, but then got hurt. So I thought it was over for my guy, but now he's back and still in the fight. He's going to be the guy in the still of this draft, whether it be now or later. Raider Nation is screaming for the Raiders to sign Darrell Williams to play right tackle, but why? He's not signed for a reason. He's a journeyman offensive lineman that's asking to get paid like a franchise right tackle. The Raiders have a guy like that on the team already. His name is Jermaine Illuminor. He's pretty good, just like Darrell Williams is pretty good, but he doesn't cost as much money. And Mumford, the Raiders may have someone even better. Whether if he is now or not, we'll soon see. But at some point, he's going to be the guy at right tackle for the Raiders. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.